I mean, we, are, we naturally want to nurture. We, they go to nursing. There are definitely studies against that nurturing part. Women are not more inclined to yeah, be nurturing. Absolutely. 110% is, we are. 110, I mean, I'm Sweden sorry. is the example of it. You're just wrong. It, it's just true. It's just but, true. But based on what? What studies? Is a, it true based Cam on what? There was a study done by Cambridge scientists that demonstrated that men naturally revert to environments that require more structure, such as politics and the professions that he mentioned. And, and, women's, and women naturally revert to professions such as teaching, which require more empathy and emotion. This is just a natural thing. It's important, it's not, to, it's, yeah, it's important not to say that you know, women should be forced into those roles, but you do have to accept you know, that we naturally that do. We naturally and women. revert to them. What's up, YouTube? Hope you guys are feeling good. Today, guys, we're back again with a new video. Today, we're going to check it out. Kindness always destroys male feminism. <clears throat> um, this is going to be interesting. This is going to be amazing. Pardon me um, <clears throat> if I sneeze or cough during the video because I'm going to try having cold. So, what well, this video is going to be amazing. I know I love to check this out with you guys. So, let's get right into it. My question is just uh, I looked at some data while you were speaking about the uh, gender pay gap in the UK and the US. So apparently it's 17% in the UK and 19% in the, U in the US. No, it's not. And uh, it's WEF data. So yeah. I'll just it, look it at that right now. So maybe, maybe the World pay Economic Forum in 2015. Right. Uh, in so percentage. Ha happy to talk no, no. about this. Uh, but yeah, yeah this so is like, my question is basically, yeah. what do you think are the causes of this? It, it yeah. doesn't exist. Well, do no, you, it, uh, there is a cause for it. I'll tell you what it is. And do you think there should be public measures to tackle it? And yeah, the causes and the public Fair correction. Fair question. So I, get it, I get it all the time because obviously I'm like the anti-feminist. So people are always like, how can you deny the gender... Uh, the, the wage gap. Okay, um, so uh, when I went to university, all of the girls that I was friends with were majoring in fashion and textiles and merchandising, um, and they all went off to intern at Vogue um, and pick out Prada bags that maybe Kate Moss would wear on the cover of something. Um, the average pay for that, if you want to be in fashion when you get out of school, is $20,000. Men were majoring in business and engineering and, and things that when you get out of school, you get paid more. If our interests, if we're going to go in and we're not going to be taking serious majors and we're, just, we're shocked when we find out the world doesn't need, need more people to pick out Prada bags for Kate Moss's shoot, I mean, that's not a gender, that's not a gender wage gap. That's an interest gap, right? And, and that's what's happening happening also women we, we have different interests women aspire to get married they aspire to have children they leave the they they leave the workforce earlier every single one of my girlfriends i'm not what i'm saying is that a person that is a brain surgeon should not get paid the same amount as a person that wants to pick out prada bags for the rest of her life i mean this is what's going on in america when you look at the that the of the wage gap they're not telling you what the jobs actually are and what women are going into in terms of their majors in university when you're taking feminist dance class 101 you're not going to make six figures when you go out of university. That's just the truth. And women, if there was a real feminist woman, a movement would talk about that, would say, hey, if you want to make as much as men, maybe we should be majoring in engineering and things like that. But we don't because we have different interests. True. Which is fine. But you then can't complain and think that we should now have a society that forces, what are we going to do? Are we going to have like a government that says now we have to pay women that want to go into fashion six figures to make them feel good and like they're doing things that are productive in society? Like we, that's, not, that's not a practical solution. If we want to get serious, if women want to make more than men, they do. It's actually been proven statistically so, in America that when they go into the same majors and take on the same jobs, women get paid more than men in those particular fields. So I'll, for Google, for example, I'm going to comment on this in a variety of different ways. Google, for example, did a pay equity audit uh, two weeks ago. <laughs> that was last week. And uh, Google said we must go after uh, gender-based wage discrimination. Turns out that uh, men were being significantly underpaid at Google, so they dished out $9 million in bonuses to men at Google because women were being overpaid. Uh, a couple things. First of all, if you just lazily, as the, some of the studies that you reference, not you're being lazy, but the studies are lazy, extrapolate all the women and all the men at a certain age and don't take into account job, ex how long they've been in a job, what they studied, their experience prior, the gender wage gap in the states does exist. But if you take in women that study the same stuff as men and are in the workforce at the same time as men, they actually earn 106 cents of, of the dollar more, meaning six cents more than a man does in the States. Candace made a brilliant point. In the States, if you look at the five majors that are the highest performing, performing majors and the five majors that are five lowest performing majors, so roughly the five highest performing majors in the United States of America, petroleum engineering, business, finance, things of that nature, they're 80 to 90 percent more or less dominated by men. There's only one major that are dominated by women, a, si a su single uh, out, of the, out of the five. If you look at the five worst performing, pre-K pre, pre uh, education, 
things of that nature, elementary school education, um, almost 80 to 90 percent dominated by women because they naturally will make different choices because they're We're biologically different. We're set just up biologically different. different. Couple, couple, different. Really quick, women are also. Because I, I find it's a very interesting point you're making, the interest and the biologically... Yeah, it's backed making, up by a and, Cambridge and, and study. Can, can you just elaborate on this? Because the, uh, I, I would tend to disagree about the biologically part of the... For instance, woman, you, say woman, you say the gender gap doesn't exist and that woman would be more inclined to do a fashion sure. degree well, no, rather I, than a business yeah, degree. Well, and women, are, are, women and men are different, and yes. I'm going to say some things that you probably hate, uh, an expression you hate, but social construct. And well, no, no then we have evidence to this, though. Look at the Scandinavian countries. They tried to get rid of this. They actually allowed teenagers to choose which do you want to get into STEM fields or not, and the data actually showed that women naturally wanted to go towards, when they tried to make this, the society totally equitable and they tried to get rid of these gender roles, women still, because of the biological predisposition towards nurturing, women... We, are, we naturally want to nurture. We, they go to nursing. There are, there are definitely studies against that nurturing part. Women are not more inclined to yeah, be not ring. 110 percent we are 100 I mean, Sweden I, is the example of it you're just wrong it, it's just true it's just but, true but based on what what studies is a, it true there was, based on what? there was a study done by Cambridge scientists that demonstrated that men naturally revert to environments that require more structure such as politics and the professions that he mentioned Business and, and women's and women naturally revert to professions such as teaching which require more empathy and emotions and yeah this is just a natural thing it's important it's not to reason. it's yeah it's important <clears throat> not to say that you know women should be forced into those roles but you do have to accept you know that we naturally do between, between you men and women. revert to them it's just true. I've, I'm, I'm, just, I'm just telling you, like, even if you've said, I'm telling you every single woman that I went to university with versus every single man, there's just a difference in terms of the majors that we're picking. And we're not forced to pick uh, certain majors. We just aren't forced to. So what you're seeing is the, is the, the result of people picking their different interests, right? And unfortunately, the other part of your question was, should we do something in society to even it out? We don't have to do anything in society to even it out. You, you, we, can I, can you I ask you a question? More, 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 yes, yes, of course. Yeah. Do you think there's a biological difference between a man and a woman? I do believe, indeed, there's a okay. biological difference between man and woman. But when it comes to interests, I do more believe that... So let me ask you a follow-up. I don't mean to you know, interrupt uh, rudely. But if we have biological differences, do I have more, adrenal do I have more testosterone than she does? I think, yes, indeed. Do you, you think might that testosterone, have more testosterone could drive you to do different interests and things? Well, I could indeed do believe oh. that. Yeah. The thing is... So maybe a man might be more likely to be a weightlifter, serve in the army, be a police officer, a firefighter, and a woman who has more estrogen might want to be a nurturer, a preschool teacher. Do you see well, how uh, biology... Uh, I, I have another question. Do you think it's desirable for the society, this, this kind of... Of course. This? I love of it, course. yeah. Absolutely. I, I love the yin and the yang. I think men and women are symbiotic. It's beautiful. It's biblical. And it's something that we should stop trying to actively work to force and destroy mm. at, at a certain point. I love it. Mm. Uh, and I did a, I did a I John, I, I did a, po a podcast. I was interviewing John Voigt, who you guys might know. He's, he's Angelina Jolie's father, and he was talking about this, this like biblical, beautiful thing that our society is currently trying to destroy. And he said, the, the thing that I see over and over again in my life, and it's nice because he's eighty years, he's eighty years old now, so they have that wisdom when they get old. And he said, women just know what to do when they have children. He's like, they just know. It's, hmm. it's so innate. When you see a woman with a child, it's just the most beautiful thing. He goes, exactly. you get men around there, they don't know what they're doing. And every single one of my uh, of my girlfriends that now has children says the same thing that it's easier when the man just leaves the house because it's like they have another child right and and that's and that's beautiful right and and in feminists make you think that there's something wrong with that like he make him do this and do that and it's like yes th there are certain things that we innately know how to do and when i see a child i instantly know how to take care of them that's just something that's innate and it's biological and maybe i don't have the data and the facts to describe to you that i can prove that this is a thing but it is. It just is a thing. And I don't know why society wants to destroy that or, or, or force it in a different way and make men the people that are innate and know what to do when they see children. There's something really beautiful and spiritual about that that should never be disrupted. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. True. <clears throat> um, the male feminists, uh, okay, at first head, it was not accepting the first words, kind of almost was saying, now also what. Um, Chas Keck was saying, he believes that interest depends on the person, it's not by biology. But we all know women are natural. They, they love to nurture. That is what that interest lies in more. You understand? Our men, 
the, the light things about finance, politics, fighting, uh, being in the army, firefighters. You understand? So we all have different interests, and you won't say you won't say um, the employer or the government in general to pay a doctor the same amount as paying um, so a woman who is doing DK. They can't pay the same amount, irrespective of that of gender gap or gender. They can't pay them the same amount because why the interest was different. Someone who is a doctor have studied for a long time aside that's been interested. There are also women who are doctors. I'm not saying women don't be doctors. I'm not saying men don't try to nurture. But their interest rates in such are differ. Like 90% of men want to do those works of doctoring, firefighting, um, law, or things of high politics. But if you go check the data again, like 90% of women want to just not be a housewife. I mean, not the entire 90%, but a lot of them want to be a housewife, want to take care of kids, want to do um, fashion. They want to do something that is not too stressful, but at the same time pays them. You understand? But it's, it's way different. It's way different. Men love to take risk. That is how men are. They love to take risk. They want to build bridges. They want to build skyscrapers. They want to be laborers. They want to, like they call it, hustle. <laughs> really, really tough. So we all have different interests and different um, passions for things. Because a woman who transgender has said or changed herself to be a man, still have the estrogen in her body, irrespective of whether she wants to accept it or not. She still have the estrogen and she wants to be a nurturer. She wants to nurture, she wants to take care of. You understand? I, that's, that is where the team backfires. This our generation it's just that it's, it's the way we are saying it's we are learning more, we are evolving, but at the same time we are evolving, we are we are actually doing terrible things, we are destroying things that are meaningful to humankind, to mankind, to to the world. We are destroying it. According to what um Candace Owen said about the man she brought to our podcast, says that we are trying to destroy things, we're trying to destroy what nature have created for us. And we have been doing that for thousands of years and it has been working perfectly well for us. We're trying to destroy it. We're trying to make men women. We're trying to bring that masculinity of men down and give them femininity. You understand? So it's 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 not it's not good. Let man be man and let woman be woman. You you can't change that pattern. This was such an interesting video. I love how Candice always spoke out. I love how Charles Cake spoke out. Also the other guests, I really don't know their name. The other um, people who the host. I love how they spoke out too. Also, the feminist um, male, the male feminist, I love how he was able to interact with them without being provoked or being using hurtful words or hateful words. I love how he he's, he's just trying to learn. At the same time, at first, he was not acknowledging what they were saying by the interest that people, by male, have different interests from female. He was not sure accepting, but with time, he, was trying, he started getting a clearer picture. And I love how it turns out to be that he actually learned from it. They all came to an agreement, that's what matters, coming to an agreement of what the debate was all about. So I, I loved the entire video. It was actually interesting to watch. Comment down below what you think about this video. Give us a thumbs up. Share this video to as many as can subscribe to our channel. I will see you guys in the next video. Make sure you stay safe. I just want a bag, like an old lady. I'm back, wood smoking, I don't own papers. Pass that 808, that don't, don't shake her. Oh, bitch, you know I'm grinding like a pro skater. Baby, mama bugging, I'm so quick to hit ignore. Buku bitch, just in my bed. I got scales on.